Today I'm going to be reviewing the TT Artisans 35mm f1.4 APS-C lens. This lens was actually sent to us very kindly by TT Artisans themselves and although it's not a lens that Grays Westminster stock and it's not something that we'd normally have a look at, I thought why not pop it on my Z50 and see how it compares, particularly as we've recently done a review on the very very different but similar focal length uh, Voigtlander 35mm 1.2. This lens for the price is probably the best sort of creative option if you've only got $80, $90 to spend on a lens and you want something a little bit different to the standard autofocus zooms. It is manual focus. The widest aperture is 1.4, but I wouldn't necessarily recommend shooting at 1.4. It's not the sharpest there, as you can probably see from the sample images. It does produce a very interesting, shall we say creative vignette effect <laughs> at 1.4, which pretty much handles itself by about f2.8. And 2.8 is, is really where I would stick to using it. Nothing too much wider than that if you, if you want the sharpest image. One thing that did confuse me is the fact that the lens focuses back to front. So that's actually your closest focusing distance and infinity is the other way around, just to be different. But the aperture is also the other way around. <laughs> so that's taken some getting used to. There's no chip in the back of this lens, so you won't get exif data. You will get focus peaking obviously, but you won't get an autofocus confirmation. You also don't have aperture information. So if you want the exif data, you have to just remember what aperture you shot at. The, the focus peaking is not as accurate as I'd like it to be with this lens. So I take the picture, but I really have to just confirm it before I walk away. After using the Voigtlander 35.2, I feel kind of spoilt by the quality of manual focus lenses that can be made for the APS-C system. However, if you've spent all your money on the camera and you're just looking for something that is inexpensive, that will give you a sort of creative different and something less clinical than your standard zooms and maybe give you that sort of characteristic bokeh that we get in our old fashioned manual focus lenses, uh, then this could certainly fit the bill for you. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. You can't buy the lens from Grays, so maybe you can give us a super thanks instead. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Please give us a like and subscribe. Let us know if there's any other weird and wonderful lenses you'd like us to review next. Subtle. Yeah. <laughs>